Hey guys, so this is like not really my setup. I just have my little portable camera that I'm using. I wanted to start the new year. It's January still. I wanted to start the new year kind of resetting my entire life and I'm starting with my makeup section. So I thought it would be good to do a complete purge and declutter of my entire makeup collection. So that's what this video is gonna be. I get rid of more than half of my makeup, like a ton. I feel really good about it. I wanted to do like a deep clean and start fresh. I'm really into the idea of just having products from one brand. So I don't know, I think for drugstore, I will look into e.l.f. I have a lot of Rare Beauty now, which I use and love. But I was thinking something like, I don't know, I have to kind of think about what I can do from like Sephora or like higher end. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. This video is a complete declutter of my makeup collection. So I go through everything. I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's just jump right into it. I have just gone through all of my foundations and powders and primers. I don't know if you can, if I can fit everything in this video in the shot, but these are all of my foundation concealers powders. These are the ones that I am giving away from foundations. So I'm giving away basically all of my foundations. I don't know, over COVID and over the last few years, I've really not used a ton of makeup and these products are just sitting unused in my drawer. So I'm going to be donating a lot of them. Some of them I think I might throw out because they're very, very old, but some of them are still in good condition. And if I can't donate it, then I will just, you know, let my family, my mom and my sisters grab what they want. All of these are kind of like the CC cream, uh, skin tint, squeezy tube products. I love all of these. I think they were all really, really amazing. I just don't need all of them anymore. These are the foundations that I'm giving away. So uh, again, most of these have been in my collection for a long time because I really like them, at least for this top row here. These are some of the best drugstore foundations, but I just don't wear foundations anymore and I don't really love full coverage makeup. These ones are more of the skin elixir, kind of, I don't know what you would call them. Not skin tints, they're more foundations, but I just don't like them as much. So anyways, those are all of the foundations that I'm getting rid of. And these are the ones that I am keeping. I kind of want to keep a little bit of an assortment so I have some options. So I'm keeping these two kind of skin tint, tinted moisturizer type products. And these ones from L'Oreal are kind of similar. They're just um, more foundation-y than the other ones. They're more like actual skin tints where those ones were like tinted moisturizers. I love both of these foundations so, so much. They're so good and I just can't part with them because I really, really love them. I'm keeping these ones. So a couple high-end foundations. The Guerlain one, L'Essential foundation is so nice. The Giorgio Armani one is good as well. I just didn't do a great job with the color for that one. I have to figure out better color match. And then I'm keeping one co full coverage drugstore foundation, which I really like. It was the one I liked the most out of like all of these foundations. And it's the NYX Born to Glow. And then two kind of non liquidy foundations. I love this L'Oreal Tinted Balm. It's so amazing and it's really good for traveling too. And then also the Le Le Neige Cushion Foundation, which I really like. Actually, it's like a BB cream, but I really like it. So those are the foundations that I'm keeping. I am so happy to be getting rid of so many. And then I just have two concealers on rotation right now. They're the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I have one for the summer months and then one for the regular months where the, the other months of the year, basically. I actually don't have a ton of powders anymore because I've really gotten good at using up powders. I'm giving away the RCMA ones. I think I bought these a way long time ago. They actually probably should just get tossed. And then I'm giving away this Aqua Assurance J-Cat and I just don't wear powder foundation, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I'm keeping my Milani Prep Setting Glows because they don't make them anymore, I don't think. So I have three unopened ones and then one that I have almost used up. Primers, I don't really have a ton. I've done a really good job of using 
primers up as well, but the ones that I'm giving away, actually, I'm just gonna throw these out. I've been trying to use them up, but I just can't. I cannot finish these. I'm just gonna get rid of them. They're really old and I just, I can't, like this is like basically done. And I'm gonna keep these ones. Well, this one's almost done. It was just a little sample that I got, but it's the best primer I've ever tried. It makes my makeup stay on my face forever. Like it's so, so good. It's the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. So as soon as I use up the sample, I'm gonna buy a new one. Then I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, which is actually almost gone. The NYX Away We Glow, which is really pretty. It gives you like a really soft glow. And then I have the NYX Bear With Me Jelly Primer thing that I'll just try and finish up. So those are my primers and that's all I'm gonna keep. Those two I'm gonna throw out. I'm really happy with this. Like that's what I'm giving away or throwing out and this is what I'm keeping and I just feel way better. Way less overwhelmed with this amount of products in my collection. Moving on to bronzers, blushes, highlighters. I think I have to start with bronzers. This was a very tough category for me. I struggled so much with bronzers and I don't know why, but these are the ones that I've decided to get rid of. Some of them I haven't used very much, like the two on the left here, I haven't really used them that much, but I've pretty much used up well, okay, so these two I think I'm just gonna get rid of, like throw out because I've hit pan on them. The Makeup Revolution palettes that I've not used that often. It's just like big bronzer palettes I don't really use. I didn't do a great job with what I'm keeping, but because some of these are multi, like three in one or two in one products and there's like different colors for different seasons, like summer and winter, this is what I'm keeping. I like that Catrice kind of full face palette because it has blushes, a highlighter, and bronzers. I really like this XX Revolution little palette. Then I have these, this Revolution Pro contour highlight, highlighter palette and this little one from Folklore which is really pretty as well. Couple bronzers, so I've hit pan on the e.l.f. one so I'll just keep using that. The butter bronzer I use almost every day. That Milani one, I'm, I'm tempted to get rid of it but also, I don't know, because it's nice for the summer so I'm just kind of on the fence with that one. And then these two stick bronzers from What A Wild and Physician's Formula that I use all the time when I use stick bronzers. So blushes, these are the ones that I'm getting rid of and these are the ones that I'm keeping. So I feel like I did okay with blushes. Blushes are like a weak spot for me. But a lot of these here are just old or I've had them forever, but it was so hard for me because this is so nostalgic. Like I was just, I don't know, I struggled so much partying with my Milani luminous peach blush and then my Milani Rose Door blush. My sister actually wants them, so I'll give them to her, but it was very hard to part with those. But the rest of it I feel okay. Like I did, wasn't a super big fan of those liquid blushes up at the top or the Wet n Wild stick one. I just didn't like the color. I like the formula, not the color. That NYX one is so old, it's time to get rid of it. Um, this e.l.f. one's really old too, so I'll just probably toss it. And yeah, just some colors that I don't really wear so much anymore. I love those liquid blushes and stick blushes at the top. I love these, this Milani rose blush. I love that one. It's like such a perfect everyday. This is my, my favorite blush. It's the ColourPop Between the Sheets blush. This one's a nice one for winter. And I just figured I'd keep this little folklore one because I haven't used it that much and it's a highlighter blush in one. So I kind of like those two in one products. Highlighters, so what I'm getting rid of I just don't wear highlighter anymore and I wish I did. I just don't though. So I'm getting rid of some big palettes. I don't really like the color of the Wet n Wild one so I'm getting rid of that. I love that Essence Nude but I think it's time to just say goodbye to it. And then the only one I'm keeping is this little ColourPop blush in Flexitarian. This is what I'm giving away and this is what I am keeping. So I feel a lot better with that but I still feel like I can pare down my collection a bit more, but I think I'll just try to do that over the year and figuring out what I use and what I don't use. So, yep, say goodbye to those memories. We're moving on to eyeshadows and I just wanted to show you guys how many palettes I have and I have already decluttered these so many times. So I'm just going to go through each of these and declutter. I'm wanting to keep only five to six palettes, which I hope I can do. I'm really doubting myself right now. Anyways, I just wanted to show you like an overlay of all of my palettes because it's apps. 
absolutely insane. I lied and I said I was gonna get only try to keep five to six palettes, but actually I'm keeping a lot more. I'm gonna talk you guys through my reasoning. So anyways, these are all the palettes that I am going to give away. Some of them were really hard to part with just because they, I love them so much. Like those little like party pooches and pooches palettes from Revolution that have like the dogs on the lid. I just love those. These are the ones I reach for the least in my collection. So it was also really hard to get rid of those elf palettes. That was like so nostalgic. But anyway, so I'm getting rid of about, I think it's 17 palettes and then I'm keeping 14, but I have like my reasoning for what I'm keeping. These palettes here are kind of my travel palettes plus those two little elf guys. So when I go places, when I have trips or I have a weekend away, I reach for these ones because they're small and like super compact. That one I just don't think I've used very much at all. So I wanna use that bluey palette for sure more. And if I still don't use it this year, it's going. I love these two little ColourPop palettes. Also they're pretty small as well. So they're good to travel with. And I just, I tried, to declutter this one, but I just couldn't do it yet. It's like the BH Cosmetics Gilded palette that I love. Oh, I just love it. I'll give it one more year. I obviously had to keep my only high-end palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And then these were the four that I was not certain about, but I ended up keeping. So these ones are glitters and I never use them, but when I need a glitter, say for a sparkly event or something like that, I just need it in my collection because then I'm gonna be scrambling if I don't have it. So I know I'm not gonna wear them very often, but when I do need a glitter, I just wanna know I have them. This palette just, I love it. I couldn't get rid of it. I needed one big palette. It's from BH Cosmetics. It is their ultimate artistry palette. I don't even know if BH Cosmetics exists anymore. And then this one's also BH Cosmetics, but it's like my Christmas palette. Everything, like all the names are Christmassy, so I just wanted to uh, keep that as well. So anyways, I'm keeping 14 palettes, but again, a lot of them are just very like small travel sized palettes. And then I'm getting rid of all these like kind of colorful and you know, ones that I just don't really need anymore. I don't really wear warm eyeshadows anymore. As you can tell from my like everyday collection, it's all like dark. Okay, this was a pretty easy section because it's mostly things that, it's like miscellaneous eye products and I go through these quite quickly for the most part. So um, it, I didn't really have to declutter this much, but basically I have my eyeliners that I wear a lot, like my black and my brown one. And then I ended up picking up two that I don't have to uh, use a sharpener because I hate traveling and having to bring a sharpener. It's really, it bothers me so much. So I got the roll up ones from Maybelline. Hopefully they are good. I don't know, these are also Maybelline, but they're like the ones you have to sharpen, but they're really good. Then I have a couple uh, pen liquid eyeliners. I don't do wings or anything, but I figured if I ever need to, I just need to keep these anyway. My mascara that I'm currently using, my brow lift from e.l.f., and then a couple like stick eyeshadows that are nice to when you're traveling because they're not gonna break and you don't have to worry about bringing, you know, powder products. Then I have like a bunch of single shadows. So this one's from ColourPop, that one's also from ColourPop. A bunch of like glitter ones from e.l.f., um, actually, this one I'm going to get rid of because I don't use that. Then I have a bunch of glitters from NYX, a couple from BH Cosmetics, and then the NYX glitter glue for that. I don't know why I have so many glitters now that I think about it. And these are backup, so I got three sample mascaras from like Sephora, I think, or like Shoppers Drug Mark, I don't know. But I haven't used them yet, but I will when I travel. And this is my next mascara. I always like to have another mascara ready to go while I'm using my current one. I have a primer. From Milani, this is my eyeshadow primer that I wear anytime I'm wearing eye eyeshadow. And then I have a backup of this. They gave it to me by accident for free, so that's why I have it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have that. And I'm just giving away a couple things, a couple single shadows, um, an old eyeliner that I'm just gonna throw away, and like a liquid shadow. So really didn't have to declutter this section that much. I think I'll give these like glittery things maybe like one more year and if I don't use them then I will just get rid of them but yeah so it wasn't this wasn't really a declutter. This was an easy one. I have so many fake eyelashes that I never ever wear so I'm getting rid of all of these. I hate fake eyelashes so much but I'm keeping 
a few that I do kind of like, these Flutter Habit ones. I actually like them because you can keep them on for about maybe three days. These are also the Happy Medium. I just transferred them into this like little red cherry case. Then I just saved some of these like single lashes from Ardell. I think I might still get rid of these, but I don't know. I'm not certain yet. So I'm just keeping a few strip lashes just in case. And then just a bunch of glue that I think is still good. Well, these ones for sure are good. I'll double check these two to see, but yeah, just keeping a few of those and getting rid of all of these. They took up so much space in my drawer and I'm just done with fake lashes. The next morning, but I wanted to finish this off. So I did the hardest category for me, which was lipsticks. So just to show you guys, I had a ton of lipsticks and it was really just because I would film lipstick videos all the time. I am doing obviously the massive declutter, so I had to just get rid of a ton of different colors and lipstick formulas and everything. So this is what I'm getting rid of. A lot of these products I do like, but it's just, I can't have so much in my collection anymore because I find I just end up using the same lipsticks over and over again. So that's what I'm getting rid of. And this is what I'm keeping, which is still quite a bit, but I'm hoping to pare this down even more over the next year. This bottom row here are the lipsticks that I wear the most often because they're the formulas that I like a lot. These over there are just some lip glosses that I like as well. Then I have some kind of liquid lipsticks and kind of, I don't know what you'd call these, but they're kind of like the creamy, balm-like products here at the end, which I really like, and then some stick pencil kind of things. Oh, and then lip liners, which I probably can pare that down a bit, but they're small, so they don't take up much space anyway. And then this top row are a bunch of like nudes, and then also some darker colors and reds. I'm only keeping a few dark and reds because I just don't wear them as much anymore. So anyways, that's what I'm keeping. And that's what I'm getting rid of. So more than half, which I feel good about. And yeah, brushes were pretty easy. These are the ones I'm getting rid of. Um, just brushes that I never reach for or use. And these are the ones I'm keeping. I also have some on my makeup desk right now that I use all the time. But um, what I've done is brushes that already have a set, like a full set. So those ones back there, that's from BH Cosmetics. Actually, that's from BH Cosmetics too. They came in sets, so I've left them together and then I've created sets myself with the remaining ones. I basically do concealer, foundation, powder, bronzer, and blush, and then I just pair enough like eyeshadow brushes together to make a full set so I can rotate each month and then, you know, not have to worry about using dirty brushes. But anyways, those are the ones I'm keeping. Those are the ones I'm giving away. I just wanted to show you guys um, where I'm storing my makeup and how I'm arranging it. I used to like use pretty much all of these drawers, but now I'm just using the top two, which is good. And I've also kind of cleaned up this little section here um, with like some jewelry and that thing, my brushes, etc. So anyways, inside the first drawer, I'm storing my lipstick. So I've kind of just set them up in here. In the second drawer, I have all of my makeup. So those are all like the miscellaneous products, blushes and bronzers. That's an eyeshadow palette, the rest of the eyeshadow palettes. And then these are powders, primers, and foundation concealer stuff. So I'm so happy that it all fits now in these top two drawers. Thank God. Okay, I'm done. I just showed you guys my final collection, kind of what I have and where I'm storing my makeup right now. Um, yeah, I feel good about this. I feel really positive about having so much less makeup in my collection, but I also am decluttering my entire apartment because my partner is moving in in April and I have to make a lot of space. It's a big, big change for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. No, not Twitter. I'm so used to saying that. Oh my God. I don't, I don't know. It's called X now, but I barely use it. So just follow me on Instagram. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.